I had a recent experience last week. It's not something I get to share with you guys because I'm, I'm pretty private in my life and I don't like to say everything. But I feel like this is something that needs to be said because it's kind of part of the journey as just an entrepreneur and a business owner and maybe just for you as a chef or whatever you do. And hopefully this applies to your life because I believe that many people will go through something like this or something similar. So last week I, I sat down uh, with friend Courtney, brilliant marketer, very intelligent uh, woman. And so I was asking her how to get into video editing and I wanted to do a video, if I'm being honest, because I wanted to get away from like cooking industry and get away from, what's it called, meal plans. Like, I, I, I've been away from meal plans for some time, but I do have some of those clients. So I sat down with her and she asked me what my goals were and I sent, I sent her a list on email. So we sat down on Tuesday and I kid you not, so she's on the phone, she gets done with the phone and then she turns and it, as she turns, it looked like, you know, the Emperor from Star Wars, how she just turns in her, her chair. What exactly are you doing? I was like, what do you mean? It just seems unplanned what you're doing with what you sent me for an email. I was like, okay. And she says this one word I can't even pronounce with my life, but it was pretty much like, you know, disorganized, right? Unplanned, right? <laughs> so what comes up following was, so what exactly what were you doing before? I said, well, I was doing a meal plan. It was, you know, pretty successful. I turned it into a six figure business. And he's like, and what happened? I got bored of it. Honestly, I got bored of it. She's like, you got bored of it. It's like, so she asked him this next question, which I didn't know where she was going with this. How do you uh, spell your name? And I was like, okay, so I spell it for her. And she looks it up on Google and, and she goes right onto my site. She goes, oh, so you did meal plans. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So you have photography, you do catering. You're, you're ordering audiences all over the place. And I was like, yeah, okay. Um, she says, <sighs> she pauses and then says to me, you know, you're such a typical entrepreneur. I was like, what do you mean? I have consulted so many of the, you guys and you, you guys are like this, you're flashing everywhere, always looking for the same thing. I like, I'll be honest, in my, my career, there is no such thing as a video editor that, in my industry, that it doesn't exist. You don't have the personality where you can uh, jump all over the place to get other you know, videos of advertising for other people. You're just a typical entrepreneur that's like gets bored so easily. And what you really need to do is challenge yourself. And uh, I, was, I was stunned because what I see through this is that like looking through your meals and how you uh, made your offer, no wonder you got burnt out. I was like, what? Like, I, I was stunned when she said it burnt out. I says, it takes a burnout to know a burnout. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I can tell that you've been burnt out by just looking at this and I've been burnt out twice in my life. I was completely stunned. So like, I, I, I felt like I was caught. I was caught in the situation because I lied because I didn't, I was bored, yes, but I also, I got burnt out with doing this uh, meal plan business because I was offering so much and my customers were kind of just abusing it. And not to mention the other part was that was hard to uh, talk about was um, my um, two uh, things happened in my life that happened in November last year in 2018 and also December. One of my good friends um, that was like very positive in my life, he, he got caught stealing hours at the company that I was using the kitchen for my meal plans and I confronted him because I wanted to know the truth. I didn't care how he stole the hours. I, don't, I wanted to find out to, if he would tell me the truth. Yeah, I was stealing hours. That's all I needed to know. I didn't care why. I just wanted to know he did it. Because if he told me that, I, I know I could trust him in business because he would help me in my business and caterings. 
and that was uh, and then stuff with you know for marketing um, for my meal plan and so that that broke my heart so where I'm leading this and so you know where I'm going with this this was a technically a economy crash in my relationships I'm so private in my life I don't share a lot of this stuff I show you the goofy side like on Instagram I don't really show it on like YouTube that much um, yeah I show it like a little bit when I did my meal plan videos like my, my actual self and then December my little brother uh, also the same thing um, so he just cut ties with my, my family completely and it just came out of nowhere. We were supposed to meet up in you know, Christmas Eve. Last time we saw him was my, uh, my dad's uh, birthday, my stepdad's birthday. And it seemed went well, but there was this something that was just so off-putting at the end of it was that he gives me an uh, Amazon gift card for Christmas, like an early Christmas present, and he's like, here, here you go, brother. And like it was so he like slips it to me like he wasn't supposed to give it to me. And I thought it was so strange. And then Christmas Eve, when I'm like, uh, just before, because I'm trying to find out if he's coming, he wasn't responding. So I thought he was having suicidal thoughts because he, it, this wasn't like brand new. My brother, um, he's had relationship problems with girls and it's made him have these kind of thoughts. And it was when my mother was like panicking on the phone with this. I had no choice because I'm not that far away from where he lives. I drove down there and I hopped the fence. I wasn't supposed to do that and I checked out what was going on and I saw him lying on the ground and I thought that maybe he was like crying or it was, it was such not normal behavior. And then I haven't talked to him since. Um, so that those two things just crushed me um, unintentionally without even realizing, not even thinking much about it. So when it came to March, because I was spending a lot of money um, I did like this uh, spending money on uh, AI uh, technology, like a bot, um, chat bot. And then I was also spending a lot of money on uh, marketing. And I, I acquired some like low quality customers and they asked for some things that just really turned me off about this uh, business. And I was just done. I, I literally, and I, I was glad at the same time because I, I lost most of my clients in uh, March. Now, I could have got more of them because the next step was to go and hit up gyms, hit up hospitals, then hit up um, other places so I can build more relationships and have more traffic. And I just didn't want to do it because I was getting burned out. I was done. I was over. Like you, When you start a business, and they always talk about this, you love what you're doing because it's so much fun, and then you start hating at the end. And that's where I got to my journey. I got tired of doing this it was just not fun anymore and it's, it was brings me to the part of you know Courtney where I talked to her last week you know it's what was it been like six months now then I, I have I've been drifting I've been drifting all this time I went and attempted to help other businesses in video editing I tried helping other friends out they were doing business and they weren't really taking action they weren't returning calls I'm trying you know I'm even um, putting money in myself to help them with their advertising so they can become more successful because I've met some people who have some fantastic products and the biggest enemy they have is themselves and now I can relate to that right now because I had a successful business and I stopped and it wasn't until Courtney said at the end which was I'd, I'd say that probably the biggest highlight which she said to me was don't you think that Bill Gates got tired and bored of doing Microsoft Word a year and the next year and the year after that. And that's where it hit home to me because it made complete sense because that was exactly what it was for me. And she says, what you need to be doing is challenging yourself, tweaking the offer, tweaking this, how to make this better and, and, and not trying to offer too much what you, you were doing before with the customized you know, meal plans for your, your clients because that's gonna be such a higher quality product that people need to be paying a lot more for that. And you need to be doing, and I know I, I hate saying this to you, Nicholas, because you seem like you get bored really easily, is that you need to do norm, a normal menu where you do the same stuff for the 30% of your audience, and eventually 
you know, yeah, you get you can hire more uh, people, and then they do that work, and you work on the more important stuff. And I I couldn't disagree. She was right. It was just uh, for me as being a business owner and being becoming my own CEO. I mean, I, it's uh, that was a hard one. It's, and it was, this wasn't like new. My wife said this to me. My best friend's wife said this to me. You know, it's so funny. It seems so like me, me. To me, it's only the women are saying this to me. Maybe I'm just biased to men listening to them. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, actually, it's it, no. I, if I'm being honest, most of the women that I've talked to, they're the ones that actually understand business and audiences. It's it's not to say that men have the same thing, but it's just. Um, women have uh, more of an influence to me. And to finish it off, she said, it doesn't matter about your client not always getting healthy, that's on them. Um, you gave them the tools, you have gave them the, the thing. As long as they're paying and buying at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Um, because you can focus on helping other people and create other businesses with that. And you can also do video editing if you like it. You already have a successful product. Continue to fix that product and build other things on the same thing. I was like, you're yeah, right. I want to share this to you so you know what it's like in my world. And I'm sure there's many other business owners that have this as well. But I want to also tell you the truth on this because I, in a way, was lying to you guys because I I wasn't sure I, I, I was done it was a dead dead business but it's really not it's not a dead business people buy it the there's always gonna be newborns newborns are happening all the time so there's always industry for meal plans and that and then there's always gonna be people that are gonna be be overworked and they don't they can be exhausted where they don't want to make uh, food anymore so they want something sort of prepared and it's exactly what they want to eat, right? If they made it themselves. It's the same thing with this. So that's where my focus is again. Uh, I'm doing meal plans again. Um, I'm redeveloping my whole offer. I'm, what's it called? Hired on my developer. I've cut down my cost like a normal startup, like, you know, a bootstrap uh, startup where you cut um, all the things that are unnecessary and I'm excited I'm I, I feel like it's a brand new fresh start and hopefully um, I learned from my first six uh, mistakes before I believe I have I'm not gonna because I was I literally was reading uh, social triggers social triggers because I, I typed in uh, how do I you know not get into bona and it was just everything on that box I got uh, when I read that article, it was I tick 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 because it was exactly what I've been going through, and anyway, I hope this uh, helps you out. Maybe you're going through this at the, right now as well, and maybe you're not realizing the truth, and you're not uh, telling everyone the truth what's going on. And I'm just telling you, it takes a burnout to know a burnout um, in this industry, but you need to learn how to make sure that doesn't happen again and how to focus on the right things and also don't let go of a product or business that's already working that's making you money and making you successful. You might not feel like you're successful in that industry or whatever you're doing, but you have to realize that it takes a, it's so hard to find it um, a market and audience that you're able to offer something that they're actually interested in something they need and you can continue wasting your time on that but why don't you have a business that's doing well and then expand on other things that you want to focus on I, I was giving the same speech to one of my friends uh, Chris Doe on uh, last Friday when we went out to a bar um, drinking and he wants to create his little business um, like I I told you you find it crazy, but he he does pharmaceutical stuff, and like listening myself talk to him, I was like, God, I'm literally taking the advice Courtney said to me in a way, and then reiterating it to him in a different way. But that oh, that was the whole thing. Talking to Courtney, it felt it felt like I was talking to myself. That's completely ruthless. Anyway, 
Thanks for listening. Uh, I'm going to end it at that. I'll, I'll continue to tell you what's going on. Uh, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll answer your questions if you have, you know, questions. But as always, I am pretty private what goes on in my life because i just not that kind of person. And I think that's it's quite common in business. There's people that are always, you know, say what everything is going on. But I, I don't think it's always a good idea to share everything that's going on in your life. But that's just me. I mean, who knows? But I'm just being transparent. All right, peace. I'm Chef Nicholas Kinga. Later.